Leo. Leo, welcome. Let's do a general read for you today. Looking at your current energy, desire, outcome. What's working for you? What you need to be aware of? We'll clarify all of that, and then at the end, we will pull three more cards around the read, Leo, just to make sure that we have everything on the table. All right, Leo, let's get into this, and let's see what's going on for you. Current energy, four cups. A whole big thing of meh. King of Wands, your energy is what your desire is. And the outcome is the Death card, also known for Scorpio. Temperance shows up, Sagittarian energy is what's working for you. Talks about balance. And the Ten of Pentacles shows up as what you need to be aware of. This is success and legacy and all those other wonderful things. So let's have a look. Let's clarify. Hmm. Interesting. Well, we have the Ten of Cups, the Page of Wands, and the King of Cups clarifying the Four of Cups card. And this feels like there could be some information um, that you're choosing not to look at. Somebody might be coming forward saying, hey, you know what, I really would like a commitment with you, or there's some information around a commitment that you, some of you are looking at and going, eh, you know, I really care about this, but I really don't. Uh, kind of very dismissive. The King of Wands. We have the Emperor, the Magician, and the Fool. Clarifying the King of Wands in your desire. We see this energy of really wanting to step up. Really wanting to be seen... Um, to dominate, to create something that is almost solely yours. So this whole, it's like a whole power move. And with the magician, the fool, and the emperor, yeah, it's step up, make this happen, and, you know, nothing's really going to stop me because I have everything that I need. Now, in the outcome, we have the death card. It's clarified by the Knight of Cups, the High Priestess, and the Knight of Wands. Something has shifted, or something could be shifting, to where you're looking towards someone, somebody could be coming into you, but you could be bringing romance to someone, and this is almost like a no-holds-barred type thing, where you're like, you know what, this is what I want, uh, I'm going to move in, I'm going to take that action towards that person, this high priestess energy, uh, this could be somebody that's younger than you, and really just make a move on it, it's almost like, you know what, there's nothing to lose here. Um, now we have temperance, which is working for you. Now temperance talks about balance, and Underneath that, we have the Four of Wands, the King of Swords, and the Hierophant. So there's this building, this planning, this decision-making that is starting to go on um, and take place. And then we have the Hierophant energy. So this commitment is really um, something that you're really thinking about. And then we have the Ten of Pentacles in what you need to be aware of. We have the Chariot, the Knight of Pentacles, and Judgment. And looking at this, it feels like for most of you that there is this prosperity, this success that comes from choosing a direction and heading towards it. It doesn't have to be a very quick energy like the Chariot normally is, but this individual, this Chariot's not moving. They're contemplating direction. The Knight of Pentacles is moving, and then, of course, Judgment is making that call. <clears throat> the last three cards... Oh, the Tower shows up. The Queen of Cups and the Eight of Swords. Something could happen, or could be coming, a very um, 
a very tower moment. Um, to be <laughs> sorry, it just kind of it kind of hit me. It's like, oh, and welcome. Here comes a very tower moment for you. Uh, a tower moment that creates. Um, a big emotional charge for you where it kind of puts you in your head trying to figure out you know what do I do with this like is there you know what's the meaning behind all of this it sort of hits you at your heart and sends you into your head it's like wow you know I what's the meaning of this is, is kind of what I get um, It'll be interesting to see how this plays out for you at this time, Leo. Uh, but that's what I have for you today. Best of luck this week. Feel free to give this a thumbs up or a thumbs down. And we will talk to you next time. Stay safe.